Before lifting the inaugural A-League trophy for Sydney FC and becoming the big blue man, Mark Rudin had two playing stints at Sydney United. And now as United coach, Rudin faces his former side and a man on the opposition bench who he looked up to in his formative years. The fact that a bit of niggle has emerged in the build-up to this FFA Cup derby emphasises just how big this tie is for Rudin and his team. Look, as soon as we, we drew Sydney FC, the, the, the players' motivation levels went up a notch, I must say. Number nine, Sydney United. And you wouldn't believe it, it is Sydney FC. There was a lot of uh, high fives floating around, people jumping up and down. Sort of clenched my fist as well a little bit and said, um, well, that's the one that we wanted. You know, when we play the teams like Sydney Olympic, the, the big Sydney derbies or, or Marconi, there was there would have been, you know, close to 10,000, 11,000 people there and they're, they're moments and, and games that you, you just never forget. Yeah, look, Graham Arnold, uh, he, he was an, an absolute and still is a, a legend of the club. Uh, the, the team of uh, the last 50 years, half a century came out and he was easily uh, the first one penciled into that team. He spent eight fantastic years. You know, I was a young kid running around supporting the club. He used to go there and every week and, and he was certainly one that caught my eye. Uh, not just because of his performances, but obviously because of that, um, that hairstyle of his. He had the, the big, uh, thick curls. Me and my friends used to uh, get the black texture out and um, you know, paint a, a moustache to be like, to, to be like Arnie, uh, I must admit. I remember all the old Croatian fellas, supporters from the club, after a win or if Arnie had scored, you know, throwing you know, $20 bills or $50 bills into his top pocket. You know, and uh, that, that's how passionate they were as fans. And they loved their players, they loved their club. And if you did well for them, they would do anything in return for you. We were the first team, I believe, to, to, to go full time. You know, we would, we were, honestly, we were like, uh, like brothers. Friday night, after training, we'd all get together and go out for drinks. And that could probably, it may end at three o'clock in the morning or, or five o'clock. And I'm not saying it's a good thing to do for the young kids these days, but come Sunday afternoon, you know, when that place started filling up and, and we had to put on a show, we certainly gave them a lot of entertainment. Well, Graham Arnold has slammed Mark Rudin for asking Wanderers supporters to attend the Sydney FFA Cup derby in support of his Sydney United. Arnold says the comments, which could be deemed as inciting, were particularly surprising given the esteem in which Rudin is held at his former club. He's certainly got tongues rolling and wagging, I guess, and people uh, you know, we're, we're talking more about the game and I guess Arnie took it the wrong way. You know Arnie, he always gets angry, he's grumpy Arnie, uh, tag about him, but um, everybody loves Arnie. We love you Arnie, don't worry about a thing mate, you'll be right in the night. He really is against us, but uh, if we do win it, uh, and I will say again, if we win it, it'll be fantastic. A, a great night, uh, a lot of, probably a sleepless night as well, I'd imagine. For the fans and, and for the players, it, it'd be something that uh, would be etched in, in the club's history. Yeah, look, you, forgetting, forgetting Sydney United and, and, and all they've achieved, it would affect me personally because I've spent over half my life at that club. Sydney United was a club that produced one of, if not the most, uh, amount of Socceroos that the country's ever seen. Don't get me wrong, the A-League has been fantastic for for the future or uh, growth of football in this country, but clubs like Sydney United should never be forgotten. Every club has a, st has a story to tell, but I certainly believe that our club has one of the biggest stories to tell in the history of football um, in this country. What a massive night this will be. Sydney United taking on Sydney FC.